Hi there. Welcome to my welcome to the next uh, tutorials on HDFS. Today we are going to look at some specific commands for Hadoop administrator. So just remember that these commands can be only executed by the Hadoop administrator when all the required permissions are set. So let's get started. So here I have already logged into my Ubuntu where uh, I had set up Hadoop and probably in the next uh, video series we are going to look into how to s install Hadoop single node and multi node cluster on Ubuntu and CentOS. So if you look at uh, most of the commands of uh, Hadoop, so all the commands they typically start with uh, Hadoop FS. So in the previous in my previous video I've already gave a demo on how to use the basic commands which can be used by both administrators and uh, Hadoop developers alike. So let me quickly check if my daemons are running for Hadoop. Okay, so nothing there. Let me start my Hadoop daemons. So you can start Hadoop uh, name node daemon by just calling Hadoop name node, or you can also say Hadoop start name node. Oops. Sorry. So it's actually Hadoop daemon dot sh start name node so you can find that uh, this shell command or script is already there in my path and that is available in the Hadoop or bin let me show you that so here you can see there are different commands called uh, Hadoop config Hadoop daemon daemon start all start DFS balancer and different scripts so we're going to talk about these shell scripts in the next upcoming videos when we actually go for the Hadoop installation Hadoop daemon.sh start name node So here you can see that my name node is up and running. Let me start the job tracker. So we are not starting all the daemons, we are only starting the data node, name node and the job tracker. So that most of our uh, commands for admin should work. Now let's say start data node. Right. So all my daemons are up. So if you look at the commands which Hadoop uh, administrator can execute, there are different commands like uh, archiving different files to taking a backup of the Hadoop file system using uh, dist copy or distributed copy. Then there are commands like fsck which are used for file system check. right? And there are balancer commands so we'll talk about all of this. <clears throat> so one of the main commands Hadoop admin will use most of the time is Hadoop DFS admin and something called as hyphen report. So this report can also be viewed from the web browser or a web page of the name node. But uh, here is a quick snapshot on uh, the first line says what's the total config capacity for the entire uh, name node. 
right? or the entire Hadoop cluster and what's the present capacity so how much uh, space is remaining how much is used uh, how, what's the number of under replicated blocks over replicated blocks etc and any blocks that are missing so here uh, I have only one node running so that's why you can see data nodes available is one and uh, zero are in dead status right so there's no decommission status which is normal so we are going to talk about all of these in the upcoming videos so this is one of the important commands to quickly look at uh, the configured capacity of the cluster and uh, any missing blocks or under replicated or corrupted blocks right so another important command is uh, Hadoop FSCK <coughs> So this will run a file system check on all the files in your entire cluster. That means all the data nodes. So here you can s see that it says the status is healthy and uh, the total number of bytes, total directories and files and uh, what are the total blocks, right? And uh, it can also say what the over replicated blocks and the number of under replicated blocks. And again, what's the default replication factor and uh, the corrupted blocks, etc. And how many racks you have configured for your cluster. So by default, it says one rack. Right? And finally, it says the file system is healthy. So if there is some problem with uh, or any data corruption blocks, so it might say that uh, instead of healthy, it might be corrupt. So here you can see that it has validated or checked all the files that are there in the cluster right so fsc is one of the other important commands so extending the fsck you can also extend it just to do a file system check on the files using hyphen files right so this is only going to check the files not the blocks so if you want to get the blocks as well you can just include hyphen blocks it's going to check everything so here you can see the actual name of the block right and the block name always starts with blk hyphen uh, number So let's uh, move on to some other commands. So I, uh, let me also cover a couple of other commands which can be executed with uh, Hadoop DFS admin. So there's an option called refresh nodes or you can just, I think should just enter. It should give all the different options that you can use with this command basically Hadoop DFS admin, right? So you can call report, safe mode, entering into safe mode, creating namespaces, refreshing nodes, saving the meta files, right? Um, so let me go ahead and uh, do a refresh nodes. <coughs> so this command will notify the name node to reread the exclude list and disconnect the worker node which will be decommissioned right so this is one of the commands that will help when you are actually commissioning or decommissioning any of the data nodes into the cluster and uh, let's move to the next command called uh, hadoop mr admin and again refresh nodes so again this will also notify the name node to reread the exclude or include list and disconnect the worker node which is supposed to be uh, decommissioned and once you 
execute them basically you can go back and uh, call Hadoop DFS admin and hyphen report to check the states of your decommissioning process right so here you can see that I don't have any decommissioned status so it's normal so let's look at uh, one of the other important commands which is basically called archive let me list my files in HDFS okay so I just have one file here so there's a command called Hadoop archive right and I can just give an archive name and you can uh, give the source and the destination paths right so source is nothing but the file system path name so it may be like your HDFS test if you want to just archive everything in the test directory and destination is the directory where you want to store this so let's say it's uh, slash tmp right <clears throat> okay so I need to give a parent path with hyphen p okay so um, the other important one when you are actually taking trying to take a backup of the files is the dist copy command so I just and execute this and uh, it's going to show me different options which I can use with this particular uh, command right so it says I can log specify number of mappers that should be executed along with distributed copy uh, something like overwrite update and delete files right so I'm going to copy one file using the distributed copy within the same cluster so distributed copy can be used to take a backup of your entire HDFS file system from one between one cluster and the other cluster so how do you execute it Hadoop test copy HDFS localhost 8020 <coughs> test course .xml. and uh, this my same cluster or if you have a separate cluster you can give the separate cluster identity here localhost 8020 test for a site 2.xml right so this will spawn the mapper process input source does not exist okay for site.xml Okay, let me quickly check this okay so let me quickly copy a file there okay all right so let me put this file topology.data okay so I have this particular file here 
let me execute this distributed copy once again topology 2 So let me quickly go back and check uh, name node URL, browse the file system. Okay, it uh, looks like there is some problem with my HDF itself. So let me stop the job tracker and task tracker. Okay. Let me log in as a different user. RC. Okay. Start name node. Okay. So it looks like there's a problem with my command. But uh, as you can see, so this is a command which you can execute on you using the dist copy. Let me start off <coughs> my other daemons. Okay, so somehow it's just uh, showing one location here, but in my browser it's looking at some other location. So let me quickly check this user, user, test. Okay, so I need to check this one, but uh, you got the basic idea on how to execute uh, all the Hadoop administrative commands. So I, I hope you have enjoyed my video. Thank you.